Well, as you'd expect, a Super Bowl feel in this arena here tonight because the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, Conor McGregor, is back. The celebrities are out in droves, all of them to see the former two-division UFC champion, the notorious Conor McGregor. The stars always come out when the notorious one steps in the octagon, and he's earned that right. He is the biggest star in mixed martial arts, not only in mixed martial arts, but in, in sports across all platforms. One of the best fighters the UFC has ever seen. Not only a great fighter, but a great spokesman, a great salesman, and a guy that people always want to see. And DC, we know you move that celebrity needle, but you don't move it like <laughs> Conor McGregor. Not like the notorious one. We talk so much about his star power and what he has done for the sport, and rightfully so, that sometimes we don't spend enough time talking about just how skilled a fighter this is when it comes to distance management, the striking skills. We'll see how it goes for him here in the return time. Here's the UFC lightweight champion of the world defending his belt yet again. This has been one dominant 155-pound fighter, ladies and gentlemen. You know this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist. Given all the skills he brings to the table, the question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Nurmagomedov is 31, McGregor is 32. Nurmagomedov is one inch taller. McGregor will have a four inch reach advantage. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC lightweight championship of the world introducing first fighting out of the blue corner this man is a kickboxer holding a professional record of 22 wins six losses he stands five feet nine inches tall weighing in at 155 pounds fighting out of dublin ireland presenting the challenger the notorious connor the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Pakistan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner.
right, so the rematch is upon us. Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Conor McGregor. Gotta think both sides might change some things up here in advance of the second match. You have to make adjustments if you're going to be successful in a rematch. No two fights are the same, so you have to approach it as if you guys have never fought before. I know the Nurmagomedov camp has made adjustments. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Big call to push land. Now he gets back to range. Just out of range with that uppercut. Double leg take. This is exactly what he needed to get a takedown and secure the position. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to fold him. Yep, there you absolutely. Nurmago Medovs has got full mount now. All right, two minutes now to go in the round. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? It's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Fighters back to their feet here. That knee might have landed there. Oh, nice series of knees by him there. He throws those pretty quickly, champ. That is how you scramble, folks. Straight right hand, no good. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Final seconds of round up. up. He goes down as another takedown is gonna In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, next round is underway, and I think my biggest takeaway in the previous round, his ability to avoid shots, right? It seemed like every time his opponent loaded up, by the time the strike got there, he was out of harm's way. And it was a very minimal movement. It wasn't a big movement off the center line. The opponent threw, it was maybe two inches off to the right that allowed him to be out of position from his opponent's punch, but still in position to return a strike of his own. Great punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, man, head kick land. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by the break. 32 total strikes have now landed for Khabib He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, beautiful level change. All right, half guard forms here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has sufficient options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded pound. Build a base, 
posture up, throw big strikes, get back in position, do a posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half court. Side control now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. He's gonna attack on bar here. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. So he submits him with the arm bar. How about that? Great job. Great performance. He got him. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, that is an outstanding submission win turned in by that fighter here tonight. And not just the finishing instincts, but just the transitions and how patient he was to make sure that he had not just isolated the arm, but secured it before he tried to twerk it. Near perfection in terms of the execution of that arm. Right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there is the man they are all chasing at 155 pounds, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion. And how about the way he got it done tonight? A spectacular submission to finish the job. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 32 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still.